So it looks like you got numbers 9, 10, and 12 correct. Uh, sorry, I just now am getting back with you. Um, all these problems are just very random with how they set up and how you might simplify them. Um, when I look at these, these both look like trinomial, or the top looks like a trinomial that could factor. And I see the denominator is a difference of perfect squares. So I know the denominator will factor to be cosine of x plus 4 times cosine of x minus 4. Again, just because it factors as a difference of perfect squares. And then the numerator, you could think of that as being u squared minus 9 times u plus 20. Right, that's called a u substitution. So however you want to factor this, I don't know if you do the A times C method to factor it, or if you can do this by looking, but what multiplies to be 20, but subtracts to be negative 9, this should be U minus 5 times U minus 4. All right, but remember, we just put U down. We let U represent cosine of X. So this really factors to be cosine of x minus 5 times cosine of x minus 4. Now everything is factored and I have a common factor in the numerator and the denominator that will cancel out which means my final answer would just be cosine of x minus 5 over cosine of x plus 4. If this is one I saw you missed on your quiz. Um, I think you did the right first steps. We need to distribute this. So that would be 1 plus cosine of alpha minus cosine of alpha minus cosine squared of alpha. And so plus cosine of alpha minus cosine of alpha, those cancel. And I'm just left with 1 minus cosine squared. Okay, well, anytime you have 1 and sine squared or 1 and cosine squared, think about your Pythagorean identity. So that is sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Now, can I manipulate this equation to make it say 1 minus cosine squared? I can. If we move the cosine squared over or subtract cosine squared from both sides, that is 1 minus cosine squared. And so we can substitute in. If I have 1 minus cosine squared, that's the same thing as sine squared. So my final answer here would be sine squared of alpha. I just needed one more step there. If there's an opportunity to write our expression as a single term, that's what you're going to want to do. So while 1 minus cosine squared is not a bad answer, because I can simplify that to be a single term, I need to go ahead and do that.